to Pop Culture Explosion. I'm Mike, and this is Paul. Here at Pop Culture Explosion, some of us watched the movie, some of us didn't yet for reasons unknown. Um, and then we talk about it with you. We are talking about what today, Mike? We're talking about Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. I, I still can't believe I've not watched this movie yet. <laughs> I've been so excited Smacker. about it. All right, so with that being said, this will be a spoiler-free review. So if you haven't seen the movie like me, uh, don't worry. You you will not gain any knowledge about the plot or whatever because I will not allow that. Um, first, it opened up on, uh, what, November 18th? Yep. And what are the what do the numbers look like so far? Well, the... I think the first weekend it was about 75 million, which um, that's a pretty that's not bad for a Harry Potter prequel. It, no, to me that's bad. By the way, this is not a Harry Potter prequel. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, well, I didn't see the movie, but it was not sold as a Harry Potter prequel. Well, okay, here's the thing. When I saw the numbers, I was disappointed, so I made a post about it. And somebody responded that they didn't market it well as a Harry Potter universe prequel and I do this all the time and I study the movies and this is kind of what we do here so being on that side of the fence do you think the average Joe that kind of blew by them or well, but, uh, when I first saw the trailer I knew immediately it was from the Hogwarts wizarding world okay the music the wands the, the costumes I, I think the, the, the marketing, it felt like a wizard, witch, uh, Harry Potter world movie. For me, it felt like mm -hmm. it. So, now Grant, I haven't seen it yet, um, and I am a true fan. And no, no, no. True fans would have seen it. Dude, we won't go into why I was okay? <laughs> We will not go there. So, um, fair weather fan, fair weather <laughs> shut fan. Shut up. So, um, and I will say, though, numbers-wise, at this point, we're about... 10 days passed, you know, dust has settled, and we're kind of getting, getting around to this uh, little commercial for you to make sure you go see it, is that I believe we're at worldwide 477 million or something like that. So they're not hurting, okay? But I was just a little surprised domestically in the 74 to 75 million range for the first weekend, and I was a bit surprised at that. You know, of course, the worldwide audience. I, I'm, the I'm surprised it hasn't cracked a, a half a billion yet. Actually, I think it will. I think it will. Okay. Uh, well, maybe not, because this is already. Well, they're going to get. They're going to get at least fifteen dollars from me. So, um, were were your expectations? Well, first of all, what were your expectations walking into this movie? I, they weren't very high. Uh, we're, you know, I've seen all the Harry Potter movies in the theater every year. My wife and I saw everything. And so we were bummed when it was done with. So I heard about this. I was excited, but I was cautious. Like, eh, I don't know how good this is going to be. And uh, so, yeah, they were a little bit lower. I didn't like... Well, did it did it meet or exceed your expectations? It definitely exceeded expectations. Um, it was just awesome. It was an awesome movie. A very, uh, I enjoyed that. I mean, it was two hours and twenty minutes, and I was not looking at the clock or feeling like I had to do something else. I mean, I was engaged through this whole movie. It was great. Now, no. So I mentioned that uh, I thought the marketing felt and smelled like a Harry Potter movie. Uh, granted, this is in the nineteen twenties. Nineteen twenty six. And they're in New York. Yes. Did it feel like a Harry Potter movie? Well, it's not a Harry Potter movie. Uh, it is in that universe, and it's in the past. And actually, the movie's about Newt Scamander, who is an author of the book Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, which Harry Potter reads mm -hmm. in the Harry Potter, Pot the Harry Potter, <laughs> <laughs> the Harry Potter series. So that was kind of a neat little thing there. But there are a lot of indicators throughout the film that put you in that world. So you do feel like were there, you're were, back there. Were there a lot of uh, Easter eggs? Yes. Okay, cool. There were, there were definitely Easter eggs. Mentions of characters, and uh, they do the thing with the newspapers. Like, you see, if you're paying attention to the newspapers that go by, there's familiarity mm -hmm. happening. And it's just got that same flavor of, you know, you you're back there in that world. It's just kind of in the past, you know. Uh, so, so it's a brand new cast. Yeah. Uh, what, who is your favorite character? 
Oh, that's kind of hard to say, but you know, I enjoyed um, Newt's Commander. You know, he's he's a quirky, goofy little. It's kind. It's almost like a fish out of water type of a story too, because he's from you know Britain England. or whatever England, Britain, Brexit, whatever you call it these days, and uh, you know he's visiting New York, so. He's kind of, he's already awkward, but then there's that on top of it of being, you know, the fish out of water thing. So how was his, uh, how was his character arc? Did you see one? Yes, there, there was definitely uh, stuff, hints from his past that's going on, and then uh, setting it up for the next movie and, and things like that. So uh, there's development there that I thought was done well. Did you have a character that you just did not like seeing in front of you in the screen? Mm. No, I thought I thought you know all the characters were great actually. How was Colin uh, Farrell? Was he was he good? He was very good. He was a good villain. Nice. Oh, did I? Was that a spoiler? Uh, we kind of figured it out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. yeah. But um, he just got a screen presence of he's up to no good. You know. We're we're um, you know you you said there's a really good movie and you're very pleased. Mm -hmm. Were there any shortcomings, or if you were involved in the production, would you have done different? Not really. I think this was, uh, start to finish, I was entertained. You know, from being back in the world, so the Harry Potter alum would be uh, happy with that, you know, uh, being back there. And then it just starts its own new thing. So now they're going to have, what, four or five more films. Um, so I'm looking forward to being back in that universe because it gives us that continuation of where we started with back in the day with Harry Potter. And it got to be a thing where we're going every, you know, whatever year or every other year or whatever it was. And, and that was gone, and now it seems like we're continuing that. So that's cool. Uh, how, were there the, the wizarding duels or the fights? What, what, uh, how was there that? was definitely that going on. Um, it's a little different than, you know, let's say wizard on wizard type of thing. There was another thing going on. There was a magic uh, entity that was causing trouble. So there was battles with that and everything. So. Excellent. So uh, Mike, final thoughts. Final thoughts. Go see this movie. If you are a Harry Potter fan, um, it's even if you're not, even if uh, you never saw any Harry Potter movies, this is still a good, fun movie to go watch. You know, the, uh, the muggles can come in and enjoy it, and it's still a good movie. So. Excellent. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching uh, this spoiler-free review of uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Um, please, continue, if, you, if, you see, if you've seen the movie, uh, give us some thoughts on what we talked about. You know, did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, if you hit that like button, you will get your own very owl and an invite to hide. So um, share this video and subscribe. Peace out.